grass. And there's a time to eat flesh. And a time to drink blood. I want to hear you tell your neighbor priest and then turn to somebody else and say kingship so one of the challenges we have is that we have to always keep these two in balance kingship has to do with outside it's talking about wealth it's talking about money it's talking about politics it's talking about taking charge it's talking about boldness so that has to do with kingship and I've told you about priesthood so if you are prayerful and you can speak in tongues and you can speak in cash then there's a problem if you can speak in cash and then you cannot speak in tongues then there's a problem but many of you in front of me now you can speak in tongues but when it comes to speaking in cash you start stammering as I'm preaching now, if I'm casting out demons, if I take you to court of heaven, and I say every spirit show up, and they show up, then immediately all of you keep quiet. But I pray that every fear will be moved out of you. In Jesus' name. Then when we start talking about cash, then we have problems. If we start talking politics, all of us say, I don't like it. But the president can sign that we should all sleep. So we must also be involved in the politics. Then I said, Don't say anything. Don't say anything. So you need priesthood and, and, and what kingship. So in the advance of money matters, I realize that we can talk about money matters. But people have made up their mind already. And so people will make any border that that we won't be rich. From my great grandfather, they haven't been rich. So are we even trying? You need a Court of heaven. So that what makes you think like that? When I say we have come to the court, whilst you are waiting for me, I'll go for Kate and start beating you. Tell your neighbor, change. Tell your neighbor, change is difficult. But you can't help it. Ah, I don't want Kasa. Tell your neighbor, change. Kingship. Priesthood. Priesthood is good. But some of us, our kingship is so strong. Then our kingship. So, so what do we want? We want a perfect balance. Some of us our kingship is strong and our priesthood is low sometimes when God blesses people and then they have money there are no people in church they can talk to because when they mention 10 million dollars hey church member say what about someone here also I'm looking for the day somebody will stand here. And so I move hundred million dollars to here to here. And church members will say, Yes, me too. I move two hundred million dollars. Now one so I sorry, I miss me move fee two hundred without feeling intimidated. Tap your neighbor and say, I can sense the fear already. 200 million dollars. Tap your neighbor and say, mm. 
and tell your neighbor that's what bishop is preaching about there are people they can't be in church because when they park their car you gossip about them and they'll drive away tell your neighbor kinship and tell your neighbor you need kinship because you have been redeemed to be a king and to be a what? Now we are so first. So, what best can we describe it? Normally, kinship we describe with the lion. And then we talk about priesthood. So, Jesus Christ, he is a lamb. At the same time, he is a sheep. But it's a sheep for priesthood. If it comes to God, it's a lamb. But when it comes to Satan, it's the lion of the tribe of Judah. So you must be able to stay balanced. No when you are functioning as a priest. And no when you are acting as a lion. So in this month of our money matters, we want to take on that dimension. That we know when to be a sheep. And we we'll know when to be a lamb. I hope you are following what I'm saying to you. Now, when we turn to Luke chapter 10, look at some and pay attention. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. Jesus said, Yes, Christ can say, I send you as sheep among wolves look at your neighbor and say Jesus said I send you as sheep among wolves tell your neighbor this scripture on the face value is not good who said it? It's not good. It's not good. Ask your neighbor. Do you know wolves? What would they do to sheep? What would they do to it? So ask your neighbor. Will you send sheep among wolves? I'm asking you, would you do that? So if you won't do that, why is Jesus saying, I send you a sheep among wolves. He's telling them something that among sheep behave like sheep. But when you get among wolves, take your uh, lion-like nature. Because sheep, they chew grass. But the same Jesus told us that when we eat his flesh, so lion, they eat flesh. And when you drink my blood, lions drink blood. So there's a time to chew grass. And there's a time to eat flesh. And a time to drink blood. So Jesus, using this scripture, is saying, I'm sending you 
hardship among wolves. But as you go, know that you are not a sheep. When you meet a wolf, let the wolf know that you drink blood and you eat flesh. Men, witch. And a wizard that is after you, show them who you are that you are a lion, swallow them. I thought somebody would say, Amen.